they have been a very strong team, while the AC Prep Knights, on the other hand, not too strong this season. They, they have great talent, but just haven't been able to get it together. As now we have... Now, as we mentioned, this is senior night and court warming night. Mr. Bill Lindsay's on the microphone here announcing the seniors, uh, the managers, Kiana Joy and Stacy Hanks. And Kia Jones. Is there being walked out to the court right now? Next is Stacy Lewis. Next coming up is Stacy Lewis. The best manager, ever. manager Stacy Lewis. <laughs> now the basketball players. Number 12, Micah Smith. Basketball players, uh, Seam Brown. As you put that graphic back up on there, you see Micah Smith coming out. You have the five. Uh, People coming out that we just had that graphic of that you see Michael Smith walking out right now. Who oh, yeah, said he wants to continue his career in college. You can see the four senior uh, basketball players for the Lincoln College Preparatory Academy. Adonis Ellison, another senior coming out right here. Let's take a look at him as he's walking out with his parents. He played two years on varsity and he's undecided about what he will do next school year. John DeReese, another senior on this team, been playing varsity for the last few years as he's accompanied by his father and mother. Jonathan's been on the basketball team for four years and three years on the varsity. He plans on extending his player. basketball career at the University of Arkansas. No, it's interesting, Caleb, that you watch these seniors come out here tonight. You are just a freshman. You play basketball AC Prep, but you watched that as a key VP pitcher down the road your senior round. year. Yeah, it will be interesting to see as a uh, I, I hope to continue my career as a basketball player here at AC Prep. Uh, I don't know how long I'll play though, but this night isn't really about me as we have a Steve Brown coming down. As you guys said, he played basketball four years and played varsity for the last two years. Uh, a lot of these kids are looking to play at the next level in college. Uh, most of them are undecided about what they'll do next year. Uh, we still got a little bit of time for the months before graduation. So they have some time uh, before they decide. You take a look right there at the cheerleaders uh, who are seniors this year. Brianna Addison uh, is a cheerleader coming out right now. Cheerleaders getting cheered on by their own. <laughs> She's excluded by her father. She's planning on continuing her, her education at Prairie View A&M in Texas. You know, it's a big night. You can see a lot of crowds of work for the students as they come out here tonight. So you see the seniors complete their four years here at Lee Jasmine College Henry. Preparatory Academy. Next is Jasmine Henry. You see her right there at her senior photos. Lee College Preparatory Academy. She plans on continuing her education at Stevens College in Columbia. She's going down to Columbia, Missouri. College is Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri. Deja Lovelace. Deja Lovelace. Now she's a fan favorite right there. She's got a nice little yeah. applause in the crowd as she comes here. out. Also a Lincoln grad. Mother and brother. And brothers of Lincoln grad as well. David's been on the cheer squad for three years and plans on attending Florida. You know, I was by Lincoln earlier this afternoon. They had a pep rally uh, in their auditorium and getting ready for tonight's uh, court warming game. You saw the cheerleaders perform, the dance team perform. Even some teachers came out and performed. And we have some video of that that we'll show later on KCPS TV. Uh, but there's a lot of performances out there. That, and oh, yeah, the cheerleader coming out right now is attending the very good to hear a lot of the kids coming out the uh, IL continuing their education. Uh, a lot of them locally here in uh, the state of Missouri. And a lot of performances. Patricia Milford. So we have some senior dance team members coming out. We have Patricia Miller, Milford coming out. I'm sure they're going to give us a performance tonight. She's dressed ready to perform, so I'm sure she will perform. 
first night again. I got a sneak preview of some of them when I got to see them perform at the school, but it'll be a treat tonight for everybody to see them perform. So. Yeah, of course. As we have said, yeah, Paul Hill. Yeah. Missouri Western. Most of the Griffins. I spent some time up in St. Joe, Missouri, and, uh, working around there at Missouri West. So nice little town. So, uh, I have a good time up there. The good old St. Joseph, Missouri. Yep, as you stated before, most of these people are staying pretty, pretty local here. As we have some senior basketball players coming out. There go Chiny. Now at the beginning of the girls game, the, she had, she, you can see she's hurt right there, but she got to go out on the court and get a layup. AC Prep kind of took their defense off and stood back and let her make a layup as a senior play her last home game there and get her a chance. She had a very good career. Uh, she gets ready to move on, but uh, it was a nice gesture that earlier uh, in the girls game to see that happen. Unable to attend tonight. Number 33, Michaela McKay. And we see McKay coming back onto the court after her great game she had against AC Fred. Now she's getting recognized as a senior, graduating from Lincoln Prep. Some nice balloons and flowers right there. Number 23, Deanna Moore. Yeah, unlike the basketball one. We'll do, a, we'll do a senior night for the uh, KCPS TV team that's been doing all these productions when everybody becomes seniors. As we got a crew up there uh, directing, uh, running cameras throughout this building. We'll have a senior night we'll recognize and maybe we'll get you guys some flowers and some balloons. <laughs> It'll be a great night to see, but I have a long time to talk. Yeah, that is a long time for most of you guys. Uh, enjoy the time right now. As you see that high school time goes fast. You can look over the cheerleaders over the corner kind of giving a hug to the seniors uh, as they're about to uh, cheer for one last time. But they're gets kind of emotional that last night, but uh, we still got a lot of basketball to play. And also, again, this is court warming. So yes. I think they'll be announcing king and queens tonight. But this was just AC Prep, uh, uh, not excuse Lincoln, me, Lincoln Prep. Prep's uh, senior night. This is also AC Prep's senior night, so I think we need to take some time to recognize what they're about to do as well, too. I'm not sure if they're going to do that right now or do that at halftime, but again, a lot of activities going on tonight, a lot of basketball still left to play. So a lot to stay tuned in for. But as we've been mentioning, if you can take a look at the crowd, there's a lot of people in the crowd tonight even. Hey, you got some faces in the crowd right there. They've made faces of some of the seniors as they've been ready to play their last game. So a lot going on as the AC Prep Knights get ready to take on the Lincoln Tigers here at senior night at the Enter Scholastic League Fieldhouse. A lot of good basketball left to play. Uh, we'll take a quick break until uh, the next activity is about to start. 